Bernie Lang. And I'm Kyle Kawamoto. Veterans Day is a long-standing tradition that's been honored for over 100 years. Every year for the past 20 years, the Western Colorado Vietnam War Memorial has held a service. Our Timber Schumann attended it today. Let's take a look at how it went. On November 11th at 11 a.m. of 1918, a blanket of silence fell onto the scorched battlefields. Armistice Day, now known as Veterans Day, commemorated the end of World War I. The Western Slope Vietnam War Memorial Park we dedicated on July 4th, 2003. At 11.11 11 a.m., over 100 people gathered here for an hour-long service covered in red, white, and blue. to honor those who have served. It means country, it means service. It means standing up for each other, no matter our political beliefs, our religious beliefs, we're Americans. Including all of the ones who didn't make it home. We are thankful for those who down through the ages fought the forces of evil and gave their lives to preserve the freedoms we enjoy. And we pick three individuals who have done a lot of good in the community. Those three were then awarded with a flag. Tom Vogt was one of those three. Standing out there, I wasn't expecting to hear my name called, but I was very honored to receive it. A Veterans Day is a day that everybody needs to get out and make a point of thanking those who served. It doesn't matter what you did, if you worked in an office or if you're in the artillery or infantry, whether you stayed in the States the whole time or deployed to foreign countries, you should still be proud of your service. Thank you to all of the veterans who helped shape this wonderful country we call home. Tim Schumann, Carry X. And once again, congratulations to uh, Tom and the other two flag winners, and uh, thank you for everybody for your service.